Like that's a, an old watercolor from who knows when. These two are sold, somebody's taking. But here, way back here, is uh, some sketches for the sculpture. You see around. So you see the stuff bouncing all over the place. Boy, you need this back boy. Adam and Eve. Eve actually coming out of Adam. I taught for nine years at Cooper Union. The important thing was the students. They, to try to sense what each student was about. Each one is different. And I never, they never knew what I liked or didn't like. I don't like to uh, evaluate and say this is better than that. Uh, I like to say this is different from that. When you say better than, you automatically dismiss something. I don't think you learn from that. Because I think each thing has its own quality. Even a terrible work has its own quality. And you can learn as much from that as from a, a great work. got to be in your work too. You may be satisfied with certain things you've done, but they're never finished. Nothing is ever finished. Even if the thing is sealed and you have the end, the end of the film, it's not finished. Because in your head, you could have, you should have, you might have, or there was an idea that you have to explore. So nothing, that's what makes you go on to that next thing and the next thing and the next thing. I never think that anything, I've explored anything. I know I can pick up something and 10 years later and say, hey, there's an idea there. All right, we're going to the foundry, uh, Beanie Mackey Foundry. It's been in existence longer than I am alive, I believe. And they're one of the old foundries in New York that... Uh, makes bronze and other metals, pours bronze and other metals. You know what's wonderful about this kind of place? The honesty. And that's what you could feel in a work, you know, a lot of times in a work, I don't care what it is, you can feel if it's honest or not. It may not be the greatest, for, but you can feel if it's honest. Uh, working on some big shows are coming up. Thank oh, yeah. God, yeah. We were loading one up and then somebody asked if they wanted to buy it. And we told them, well, we don't sell it. Yeah, we'll call up the artist, yeah. but we can't. See, my piece is up there. You, have to, you can go on the roof and shoot it. <laughs> I, I What's that, water on it? Yeah, it's water. The, yeah. That is uh, Piniel, means face of God. Uh, it's where Jacob fought with the angel uh, in the Bible, and it's the, uh, they say angel, it was an unknown person. Some people say he fought with God, but he wouldn't let him go unless he blessed him, and he said, okay, you're blessed, and from now on your name is Israel, which means he was fought with man and God and prevailed. It's the first time Israel appears in the Bible. And my take on it is it's a man fighting with himself. See, everybody thinks you just make a mold and you cast it. It doesn't work that way. There's so much handwork that goes into this that virtually every piece is handmade, even though it, you think it comes out of a mold. And these guys do so much work that nobody even knows they did. A lot of what I didn't know anything about this when I came. I thought it just comes out. I learned that these guys do like sometimes like more than fifty percent of the work, and everybody thinks the sculptor did it. There we go. Okay. 
Come on. Look at that. Oh, fart. Look at that fart. You, you, you gotta watch it, you know? Ah. This is your closet up here. Steve, this is the closet. Yeah, yeah. Just put anything you want up here. Holy, sh what is this? Why do you yeah, think well. I put it up there? Because I, where am I going to put it? You know? This way is right. ages there. It's but it's also you're supposed to put it when there's a hole in the roof. Put it over the hole. It protects the place a little bit from right, the rain. From you know, the rain. It doesn't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put a plastic on there on the wind. What's he doing? Oh, he's moving it. He's moving the thing. Uh, when you finish the piece, it belongs to the world. You don't, it, you don't own it anymore. And the only thing that you own is the doing. You can't sell the doing to anybody. You own it. You did it. You went through it. And that belongs to you. And that's true of every craftsman. And that's a wonderful thing. And that's what I like the doing of. Just sitting there and you can sit by yourself. And you don't have to worry whether something's accepted or not. It's the doing. Sometimes you work a whole day on an image and uh, then you throw it away. But you still have the doing for the day. In the doing, you're always learning. I get very nervous when, I have, when I'm not doing anything. I feel like I've wasted the day. Wasted the time. Wasted time. Uh, I feel guilty. I don't know why, but it's true. But that's it. That's the state you're in. And you're going to be in that for the rest of your life. To just sit there, it's very nice for like about two minutes. And, you know, people say, do you play chess or do you play golf? Or you do? And I say, I can't. And they don't know why. I say, I tried. And in the middle of the game, I say, what am I doing here? I could be making a picture. <laughs> what am I doing? I, it's very nice, but I could be doing something.